something up my sleeve. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to jinx it. I'm going to go over and ask her right now. All I can say is I wish you luck and I hope you come out of it alive. Oh, thanks, Mr. B. George. Hmm? This Eiffel Tower is one of Hazel's most prized possessions. So? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking of those old golf clubs of yours. <laughs> They're in the closet in the den. I'll get them right away. Use my garden for your auction. Are you out of your mind? You better let me finish explaining, Miss Thompson. That vein is sticking out in your neck again. You know, that ain't good for a person. No, make it as quick as possible. Yes, ma'am. Gabe Fairchild's one of your favorite artists, ain't he? That's true, but I fail to see... He's sending me a picture. Hazel, I haven't the time or the patience to listen to fairy tales. His paintings cost thousands. Yeah, I know, and this is one of the first canvases he made in Europe. Well, he's sending it to me as a present. I don't believe it. I simply don't believe it. Well, it's all in this letter I got in the mail today. Why would he give you a painting when anything he does costs thousands? Well, maybe he's one of the impractical artistic types. Anyway, he's sending it to me. I guess it'll get a lot of publicity in the newspapers. What do you mean? <laughs> well, when they find out that I'm donating the picture to the Sunshine Girls auction. Your what? Oh, sure, I'm donating it to the auction to raise money for the foster parents' plan. Boy, I'll bet the place will be buzzing with photographers and newspaper people and reporters all around the place. <laughs> all around what place? Well, wherever we hold the auction. That's why I was hoping we could have it in your yard, because you got a lot of rich friends, you know, and you could bid it up. That's true, Hazel. Any of my friends or acquaintances would pay a great deal for the prestige of, of a Gabriel Fairchild original. Oh, sure. It's a shame we're not going to have it in your yard because you could send out fancy invitations to all your friends. But, Hazel, of course we'll hold it in my garden. Oh, gee, thanks, Miss Thompson. Don't thank me, Hazel. After all, it's for sweet charity. Besides, it will be the social event of the season. It's a very stunning cane, ladies and gentlemen. I have a bid of $55. May I have a bid of $60, please? May Say I cheese, have Mrs. 60, Thompson. Cheddar. <laughs> now, may I have one with your husband? I think that's enough pictures now. <laughs> going once for $60, going twice for $60, this handsome silver-tipped walking stick. Going twice for $60, sold for $60 to the gentleman on my left. <laughs> your great-grandfather's walking stick brought $60. Herbert. Oh, he would have been so proud. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and folks, the next thing coming up is a used, a genuine set of golf clubs in A number one condition. And they were donated by my employer, Mr. George Baxter, the prominent attorney, who always takes very good care of his things. So come on, folks, now let's bid it up for the foster parents' plan. <laughs> now, may I have an opening bid of $25 for this fine set of match clubs. They'll bring at least 75. 25? Do I hear 22.50? <laughs> no one's gonna bid 22.50. May I have Kelly, a bit of 20? Of all of the charitable things I've ever been associated with, I think this is by so far the nicest. I mean, we're practically saving the lives of the children in an entire village. I mean, it's a big idea. You're right, Mother. Hazel always thinks big. <laughs> Perhaps you have a oh, how sweet of you to come to our little do. It's a howling success, Deirdre. Oh, thank You're you. You're raising simply nice hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Well, any effort is worthwhile for those poor little tykes. <laughs> the auctioneer's assistant is priceless. Well, she's responsible for oh, most right, of it. She's an absolute gem. Where on earth did you find her? <laughs> oh, I hear a 15. Then do I hear $10 for this set of clubs? <laughs> ah, I have a $10 bid. Going once, going twice, sold for $10. I'll, uh, go pick them up later. But, Dan, how come you bought back your own golf clubs? <laughs> Never mind, Harold. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, next on the agenda is, is this genuine object dot. It's the Eiffel Tower with a clock in the middle. Of, of